Jeff Rowe from Two Hacks Garage. You know what, guys? I'm going to show you an easy way to set hydraulic lifters. A very simple way. And the reason why I'm calling it simple way is I got a really neat tool. Um, this is a valve lash wrench set made by Proform Tools. There's multiple ways you can do those wrenches and T-handles, but they actually make a really neat tool in order to do this, and it's actually really simple. Two hands, easy to get it done. The engine I'm going to be doing this on, well, it's a 318 Magnum. Uh, this is at my friend John's garage. He's building a Jeep. This little 318 has got awesome internals, great heads, all that fun jazz. It's going to be fuel injected. It's going to be a little beast of an engine. But you know what? It's been a while since we've worked on this, and we're ready to put the lifters on, and we're ready to get all that set up. So, you know what? It's a perfect opportunity to test this tool out, kind of a product review. Um, it is a really cool tool. I'm going to show it to you here in a second. But if you know if setting up all of this, a lot of times you use a box wrench and a T-handle and all that, and you're going around, this tool is going to make it easy. Let me show you why. All right. So let's check this out. Here's the tool that I'm going to be using to do this. This is made by Proform Tools. Um, this is part of their engine building tool series. I use a lot of them. Uh, it's very budget friendly, easy to use, and in my opinion, pretty decent quality. Um, so basically you have um, a wrench and your T-handles. And let me show you what that looks like when you have them out of the package. Just wanna show you what this looks like. All right, so basically you have your wrench here and you have two different T-handles. This one is meant for the rocker stud nut that is 5 eighths. They also make this in 9 sixteenths. And you have two different size wrenches, the 3 sixteenths and 7 30 seconds. And that's for your poly locks. Um, this is actually a really cool setup. But the neat part, what I like about it, and we're going to show you when we set this up, I'm just kind of showing you what the tool is. So um, when you put this over your rocker arm stud nut, if you want to call it, and you're setting it, well, this wrench here or the T handle slides in there direct shot to the center and you're able to lock it. This is really neat. I like this. You can have it in place while you're doing other things and lock it in place like that. I really like this, but you know what guys, let's show you actually how to do this. All right. So there's multiple ways on how to do this. I do it. What's considered the base circle of the cam method and base circle of the cam. Um, if you look at your camshaft here, you have your, your lobes. Well, what you want to do is you want to make sure that your lifter is on the base circle. So what I do is I actually rotate the engine and push down on this lightly. And when it's all the way down and stops moving, you're on the base circle, which is the bottom of the camshaft, which is the shortest part of the cam and the most relaxed part of it, if you want to call it. So kind of the next step, what I do, and it's pretty simple. You have your rocker arm like this, and you have your rocker arm stud nut, and you can see the poly lock in there. So this isn't too terribly hard to do. One, you wanna make sure that your lifter is actually in the center, or sorry, your push rod's in the center of the lifter. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put your, your rocker arm in. Make sure that your rocker arm goes into the, the, the cup for that. And you're going to line up your the roller on here, center of the tip of the valve stem. From there, you're going to take this and you're going to turn it until it's just snug. You don't want to start going down because that's going to start setting preloads. About right there, it stops turning. So that's just finger tight snug. Make sure you can rotate that around. So this is where you're going to start adjusting it down and setting preload. Okay, so the next step, what you're going to do, you're going to have to determine the poly lock T-handle size. And like I said, it came with two, um, three sixteenths and seven thirty seconds. All you're going to do is you're going to put it in there and find the right one. Yep, this one happens to be three sixteenths, which I knew, but just in case it's a larger one or a larger one, you have your seven thirty seconds. So from there, this is pretty neat, guys. This is the part that I like that makes this so simple. I'm gonna make sure this is centered again and snug because I didn't move that. So yeah, that's good to go. Now you wanna consult with the hydraulic lifters, uh, the manufacturer and all that to set preload. We looked it up and on these, it calls for um, a quarter turn to one turn and we're gonna go at a half a turn. So this is the cool part. I'm gonna put this here on the nut Take this right into the center, into the poly lock. 
what I'm going to do is, if you look at this right here, I'm looking at 6 o'clock. Here's 9 o'clock. Here's 12 o'clock. So if I went to 9 o'clock, that's only a quarter turn. I want to go at least a half turn on this, so I'm going to go straight up and down. There is your half a turn. Now, if I want to go to 3 o'clock, that would be three quarters of a turn. But we're going to go a half a turn on this. So that's how you do it. And once you have it where you want it, like I said, this is so simple. Two hands easy instead of the open box wrench and everything else. This makes it a heck of a lot simple. So what you do is hold that into place and you're going to turn your T-handle. And you're going to lock your poly lock into place. There we have it. It's always going to have a little bit of side to side movement. You just don't want any play in here. And you want to go back sure and make sure you can still rotate your push rod. Pretty simple, really. Not too shabby. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down the line and we're going to get all these taken care of. Mind you, we're going to rotate the engine over and every single one, like I said, everyone's got their way. I always go off the base circle. So what we're going to do is we're going to put every single one down the line on the base circle of the cam and just follow those steps. All right, real quick, just in case you don't know how uh, to put this on the base circle of the cam, if we look here, this is the next one we're gonna do, the push rod. It's down into the lifter. And what I wanna do is I want to get that down to the base circle of the cam. Right now, I know it's not. So I'm going off the crankshaft and I'm gonna turn this and I'm gonna rotate the engine over and I'm going to get to a point where the lifter stops moving and it's all the way down. So right there, it stopped lifting. It's not going up. And I can actually see it's on the bottom lobe of the camshaft. And that's where I'm going to leave it, right there. So it's down at the base circle. Um, this is a nice engine because you can actually see in there some engines you can't. So all you do is just lightly push down on your push rod. Watch your lifter go all the way down. Make sure it's all the way down, doesn't want to come back up, and you're on the base circle. And as you can see, that's on the base circle. So yeah, what we're going to do now is we're just going to go down the line, and we're going to get all these adjusted. All right, so there you have it. 
really easy process. Um, real quick, I should have said this at the beginning of the video. Um, it's a whole lot easier. Make sure you get your spark plugs out um, just because of compression. It'll f roll, roll over a lot easier. And the other thing is um, we saw maybe on the cameras taking a little bit of assembly lube and putting it on the tips. You can use assembly grease, whatever. You just want to make sure you get a little bit of oil, something tacky on your valve stem. So when it go to fire this up first time, it doesn't have you know that wear on there metal to metal. Worked very well. John got that done in maybe 15 or 20 minutes. What do you think, John? Thumbs up from John. I, I actually like this tool. Makes things easier. I'm going to give it a thumbs up. Um, yeah, really dig it. Super simple. And we got a little bit of cleanup to do. And pretty soon, we're going to be putting an intake manifold on this. But yeah, guys, that's a really super simple way to do it. That tool makes it a whole lot easier. Pretty happy with it. And I did get both of their wrench sets with it. Um, the other one is the 9 16 wrench like i said this one's the 5 8 so i pretty much have both sets do any sort of engine really dig it next one 2x garage